Rachel, I am Jess, and today I welcome you guys to a whole new city here in the beautiful Czech Republic. Guys, I like to have you guys come with me today to the beautiful Prague, one of my most beautiful cities in the whole entire world. I can't wait for you guys to come with me and discover this amazing gem. We start our day here in this beautiful square because we are gonna head towards Europe's most ancient castle, the Prague Castle. So come with me and let's discover this beauty. We're gonna head that way, let's go. It's right here, St. Vitus Cathedral. As you can tell, right behind me, this cathedral right here is one of the most important and largest temples in all of Prague. Now, the place behind me is not only important because of the Gothic architecture that you see, but because many kings and queens have actually been coronated in this beautiful architecture masterpiece. So guys, let's go inside and give you a look at this place. and protected and also a main focal point in this church a lot of tourists come to see this specific area so I have brought you go ahead one of the most beautiful and ornate churches that you will visit here in Central Europe. It's neo-gothic style wood, just blow your mind. So my advice to you is make sure you come and check it out. Let's keep moving. So many gems to discover inside this cathedral. get moving and discover what else there is to do here so come along so guys next we're gonna walk to the south tower of the cathedral at standing at over a hundred meters high you guys so it's definitely something to be seen now this specific tower can be climbed 287 steps so if you feel physically fit to do it it will reward you with one of the best views in the town now I do want to let you guys know that this tower right here has an extremely heavy bell that is 15 tons guys it is the heaviest bell in all of the Czech Republic and you have it here in the very Prague so guys Adrian's gonna go up the tower and give you guys one of the best views of the city and he's gonna climb 287 steps for you guys and for me because I can't do it with my asthma. So he's taking one for the team. So you're stuck with him for the next segment. We'll see you guys soon. All right, so it's 287 steps up the tower in this spiral looking uh, staircase. Very medieval. Legs. Almost 
almost there, though. I think. Alright, I made it. It only took me six minutes at a crazy space. Let's check the view out. thing that we did not do is figure out where we we're gonna meet afterwards <laughs> so I'm looking for Jess right now in this uh, courtyard uh, maybe I could see her but yeah we didn't uh, coordinate on where we were gonna meet uh, after I got off the tower and so now we get to walk and find her it's always, that was always a fun game so let's do it he found me found her she was actually <laughs> sitting on the steps. She says that she's been there the whole time, but you guys can, you saw when I came out, so I proved that she was not, so. Anyway, it was really good, fun. 287 steps, did it in about six minutes, nonstop. Wow. But it's tough, like, endurance-wise, you're good, your, your legs start to. To give out? Yeah, to give out. So, so. I had never stood a chance. Uh, you could have, but you, you would have made a lot of stop. It is hard to stop because they're so narrow uh -huh. and people coming up and down, so. That was a no for me. Yeah. But no, it was good. Uh, Shout out to Adrian for doing it. <laughs> now let's move on to our next spot. Let's go, guys. Hey guys, so now that we've reunited, we are here at our next stop. We are in the old royal palace, you guys. And it's gonna be a really good one. Now there's a new one, but I wanna show you guys the antique version. So let's go. First order of business, climb steps. <laughs> Phew. Surely do feel them. Wow. Let's go in. That's amazing, you guys. Check out the ceiling. Now this place that we're standing in dates back to the 9th century guys so it is very very old and this place right here has seen many monarchs come through here and I do want to tell you guys what's another thing that's special about this castle is that it went actually inhabited for about 80 years in the 15th century so it just stood deserted by itself until finally they came over and occupied it again it is a sight for sore eyes Plaza, it's gonna be St. George's Basilica. Now this basilica right here was the second church founded inside the palace area. Now it's important to note guys that this has also been around for a very long time but the charm continues to this day. So let's go see what everybody talks about.
done with this part of the tour, we're gonna keep moving. And I have a feeling that you guys are really gonna like the next stop that we're gonna head to. It's actually called the Golden Lane, and that's because goldsmiths used to actually live there at one point. So, let's go check it out. We are here right in the middle of Golden Lane. Now, just like I told you guys, the houses are tiny, and back in the day, it was the worksman, the goldsmith, and the servants that used to live here in this area. It's amazing that these houses were still occupied in the 1940s, y'all. So let's go have a look, give you all a little bit of insight into some of those places. Let's go. So guys, at the turn of the 20th century, Prague started becoming very popular. Now the house owners started catching on to this, to this fame that was going around the city and started renting out their spaces to famous writers, actresses, you name it. So they remodeled the places, they made them attractive, and they earned themselves a buck. So I wanna show you all what a small house looks like. Let's go in. Those riders was Franz Kafka. Now you can tell here that we are number 22 in the house list. Let's go in and check out the souvenir shop. Now he was a very well-known German writer, and this is what he rented a space. Let's go. So guys, next we are in the residence of Jay Kazda. Now he was a famous historian and filmmaker for both the Czech Republic and American films and he also had a residence in this golden lane. As you can tell, lots of film vintage items. One of the best parts about visiting Golden Lane. Let's go check it out. So can you guess who else used to live in this area? That's right. The defenders and the guardsmen of the castle. And here we have an exhibition of their armor and everything they used throughout time. room that is full of talent. Now all this, uh, swords, guns, anything you see around me, they were all crafted by Czech citizens in their workshops and they were brought here to this exhibition so you can actually see how these tools have evolved throughout time. Now if you do want to support the talent of this Czech citizens and master crafters then you can always purchase a souvenir from the souvenir shop. Shoot your 
So guys, nowadays all these little houses are either souvenir shops, little cafes, or display exhibitions for you to go in and experience. So it has continued to keep that charm that we saw at the early 20th century. But as much as we love the strip, we gotta continue walking and see what else this road holds for us. like that we have made it to the beautiful gardens just outside the walls now I do want to tell you guys that this place makes for the perfect resting spot after seeing everything inside the palace now they do have cafes bars around here so make sure that you stop take a breather and actually enjoy yourself you are in the Czech Republic after all now guys that is gonna be it for this video for us thank you so much for watching we will see you guys next time we do have another video coming up from the beautiful Prague so make sure that you guys stay tuned for that to see the beautiful downtown that is with this awesome bells in this awesome view that we're gonna check out thanks so much for watching you guys stay safe stay happy and if you like to see more videos like this please make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click that little bell until next time bye